Okay guys, once again, this is you and Henry with Tech In My Life. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So as a PlayStation 5 owner, we all know the PlayStation comes with around seven, maybe 800 gigabytes of onboard storage. And one of the first things you should do is probably open up the PlayStation and stick a maybe one terabyte um, M.2 drive into the PlayStation 5. Of course, I did that. Now, about a year after upgrading the storage, I have approximately, let's say, 1.7 terabytes of storage. And of course, with games, for example, like Gran Turismo, 110 gigabytes, Jedi Survivor, about another 130 or so gigabytes, you can see you can run out of space very quickly. And that's what happened to me. I have, like I said, a one terabyte um, NVMe SSD that I inserted and it's almost at capacity. So now that my onboard storage, I'm, I don't really use a lot of the onboard storage. I typically just um, load games onto the expanded storage, but I'm, at capacity so upgrading that drive it's kind of tricky and the way I'm gonna try to do it I don't know if this is gonna work I'm hoping it does is to get a, a two terabyte NVMe drive stick it in an enclosure attach the enclosure to the USB-C transfer everything to the external NVMe drive that's in the enclosure and hopefully when I'm done transferring everything just take the NVMe out of the enclosure insert it into the onboard spot by opening up the PlayStation and putting the NVMe drive into the PlayStation and hopefully that works so let's get going so the drive I got is this Western Digital uh, what is it SN850 drive these drives are just so reliable that from one brand to the other, if I had to give anyone any suggestions when it comes to shopping for them, I'd say just find the one that's on sale of Enclosure. But I like it because it's toolless. So it's just a little grommet right here. And this heat sink pad that can go right there. And that's it. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna go to settings, down to storage and USB extended storage. It's asking to format. So we'll go to format, format the disk, when you format, blah, 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 noted that save data, yada, yada, yada. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay, so now, first thing you go to, move to USB, the extended storage. And then from there, because you want to select where you want to move it to, select all. And then from there, you just go move, check to make sure you got everything, and you hit OK, and everything is going to transfer. Actually, since I'm only testing this out to see what works, I think what I'm going to do instead of trying to transfer the entire library, I'm only going to transfer one game. Looks like PGA Tour, that one is only 60 gigabytes. That should go relatively quickly. So yeah, let me transfer that to, to the external drive, rather to the external storage drive, which is just an enclosure with an M.2 drive in it. Okay, that's all done. Let's take a look here. If we go to external storage, we see that we have a 1.84 terabyte drive and we have one game that's 60 gigabytes on there. And 
PGA Tours. Okay, so let's turn off the PlayStation, open it up, and uh, insert that M.2 drive into the PlayStation and see if this works. If it works, I think it'll save us, us a lot of time. If Well, we figured that out very quickly. Um, to use M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format it, if you want to continue using PS5 uh, without formatting M.2, turn off your PS5 and remove and you know, that save. So there we go. Um, can't format it because one of my games are on one of my games is on there. So what I have to do now <laughs> is turn it off. Do not turn off. Uh, do not format and turn off PS5. So we're going to do that. Take the M.2 drive out of the PS5. Reinsert it into the external enclosure. Put the game back onto the original um, M.2 drive. Then I have um, a, just in case I needed it, I have this here. This is a, uh, let's see, a crucial one terabyte drive. So what I'm going to do is load everything, transfer everything onto this drive, then put the new two terabyte M.2 drive into the PS5, format it, and then transfer everything that way because it seems like my original plan isn't going to work. What it looks like my process now will be the one game that I have on the M.2 drive that I just put into the PlayStation, I have to take that M.2 drive out, reinsert it into the uh, enclosure, transfer it back onto the smaller M.2 drive that's currently in the PlayStation, then attach my crucial one terabyte USB drive to the PlayStation, transfer everything onto that, insert the new two terabyte drive, and then transfer it back to the M.2 drive that way, the new M.2 drive. So, there is no shortcut. If you have a M.2 drive that's running out of space and you're looking to go to a bigger drive, the first step would be get a, an external storage device that you can transfer everything to and then transfer it to the external storage device, insert the new um, M.2 drive, and then transfer it back to the M.2 drive. That's probably the fastest way. I believe if you have a PlayStation Plus, you can just upload the, all the games at some point and then download all the games. But if you're dealing with terabytes of data here, you're gonna be uploading and downloading forever. So even though um, it can possibly take two, maybe three hours for each transfer, whether you're going from the PlayStation to the external USB, from the external USB back to the NVMe drive. That's, you know, you're probably looking at five, six hours to get all of it transferred. If you're like me and you have a one terabyte drive that's at capacity. If you have a four terabyte drive, uh, I'm sorry, if you have a two terabyte drive and you're at capacity and you're thinking about going to a four terabyte drive, I possibly wouldn't even do that. What I would do is get an external 
USB storage device just start backing games up to that and if you want to play the game then you just plug that in transfer it over and go from there that's probably the fastest way to go about it so guys um my pain hopefully has been your profit you know my pain of the hours i just spent doing that so if you guys found that information useful please just you know hit that like button while you're at it if this information was valuable you know be sure to subscribe because I try to find valuable and relevant things to post to my channel and um, I figured this would be an interesting little experiment and while it took me some time to go through the whole um, shenanigan and actually at this point I'm not through the whole shenanigans yet but I kind of figured out from here how it'll play out the biggest challenge so far would have just is just whether it would work transferring to an M.2 enclosure and then going from there. That didn't work. So now we just got to go backtrack and do it the long way. But like I said, hopefully that information was useful to you guys. And if, again, you guys have any questions or comments, absolutely leave them in the uh, section, the comment section down below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys subscribing. Um, and like I said, if the information is valuable, definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace.